Hey, thanks for checking out the Renegade 65. I am Doug Reynolds here with Bruce Egnator, and today we're going to show you a serious powerhouse amp. Bruce, obviously you have a lot more controls on this amp than you do the Rebel models. Well, what we've done is taken a lot of the cool features from the other amps and incorporated into one. Tube mix on both channels, second master, the reverb, everything is on here. Larger format, it's more usable live because now you have the power that you need to do that. Now, certainly it's suitable for everything, but if for the guy that needs more power, more volume, this is definitely the one for that. Cool. Well, let's check out the front panel features. Starting with the left on the front panel, you have a two position power switch. You've got an 18 or 65 watt selector instead of the rotary pot. We've given you two selectable power positions. You've got the signature tight and deep switch and bright and normal switch as well. Then you have a gain control, bass, middle, treble and tube mix, where on this amp you're getting 6L6s or EL34, so much larger tubes, a little bit higher power. The overdrive channel pretty much has the same control panel layout. A lot of guys will like to have their clean channel on 6L6s and their overdrive on that classic British growl. The master section includes independent reverb controls for each channel, master density and presence control. The density is going to give you more low end and the presence is going to give you more top end sizzle. Then you have a main one and main two, which we're going to cover when we go over the foot switch. A main one is your main master volume then you have a secondary master volume when you want for lead boost. Okay, now let's check out the rear panel features of the Renegade 65. You have the main AC input, you have the world voltage selector that allows you to set it 100, 117, or 230. Your two foot switch inputs, then you jump into the power tube bias section on the rear panel. The bias section for each allows you to maintain the bias for each pair uh, by simply using a little small digital multimeter and a little flathead screwdriver to adjust the bias. This amp can accept and you can load in any type of power tube that you want. Then you have an impedance selector allowing you to select between 4, 8, and 16 ohms. The two main and extension speaker outputs. Your very cool XLR direct recording output, which sounds very natural. And your effects loop return and send jacks. Now let's check out the very flexible Renegade foot switch, which does come with each model. You have a channel select button, which changes between channel one and channel two. And you jump into the really cool features of the foot switch. You can assign the effects to channel one, both, or channel two. You can also do the same with the reverb control. And the coolest feature of this amp, in my opinion, is the main master additional volume boost function, which you can assign to channel one, both, or channel two as well. This gives you a nice secondary main master boost. 